Hi again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with Jupyter Notebooks. As usual, we start from the main view in Jupyter Lab, and in this case, I've already cloned the learning materials from GitHub, and they are here on the left hand side uh, in a folder named Notebooks. So I'm just going to move into the Notebooks folder and open the subfolder named Part 1, which contains two Jupyter Notebooks. I'm going to open the first notebook by double clicking this file right here which then opens up the notebook on the right hand side. So this is a Jupyter notebook and a notebook typically consists of two types of cells. You have content cells and code cells. In addition on the left hand side you see a blue bar which indicates which cell is currently active and in this case we are in the topmost cell which contains the header of the notebook. These content cells are written in Markdown which is a markup language for formatting the content. The code cells in turn are written in Python 3. To understand the difference between content and code cells we can move the cursor downwards as I'm doing right now by pressing the downward arrow key on my keyboard or alternatively I could press shift and enter at the same time to run this cell which moves the cursor to the next cell. Now this right here is a markdown cell. If I double click the cell it will return into the raw form before rendering the cell contents in markdown. This in turn is a code cell which contains some Python code that prints out a string with the text this is a code cell and if I press shift and enter now I'll execute the cell which returns a printout. You can also see on the left hand side a number in brackets. This indicates the order in which the cells have been executed and this only applies to code cells and can be used to keep track of the order in which the cells are executed. There are a few scenarios that one can encounter when working with Jupyter Notebooks. The first one is the need to run all the cells in a long notebook. So to do that you want to go up to the run menu and select run all cells. And this will simply execute every cell in the notebook. The second scenario is that you've executed quite a few code cells, um, maybe in a random order and the notebook seems to be a mess and you want to restart everything. So in that case you want to go to the kernel menu up here and then choose restart kernel and clear all outputs. And this will clear all outputs for the code cells. You can also add new cells to the notebook by pressing the plus button here. And then from this menu right here you can choose the type of the cells. So you can have code cells markdown cells and raw cells but in most cases you will need code or markdown. Thanks for watching this video I hope you found it useful and if you have any questions please leave a comment below.